Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. We're going to be talking all about my SPFs, my favorites for all year round, and most importantly, they have no white cast. So if you're a medium, tan complexion, deeper complexion, you know the struggle. So these have no white cast, and I am so excited to share my top ones. I have some affordable, mid-range, high-end. I'm gonna give you the whole tea. I'm gonna show you how they apply on my complexion, and I'm gonna tell you if I feel like they're good for makeup application, all that good stuff so if you're excited and this is the first time here i'm chi i am a registered nurse obsessed with skincare beauty and makeup here on my channel i do a lot of unboxing reviews and first impressions so if that's a content that you enjoy go ahead and click on the wrap button that's a subscribe and also go to my instagram because over there i do keep you posted on new makeup tells makeup releases all that good stuff so without further ado let's start Alrighty friends, so let's begin and this video is being on the works for forever. I'm always hunting for the best SPF out there. I'm always trying new ones and you know you have to wear SPF all year round. Let me tell you, I've been searching and searching up and left, right, and all directions because it is very difficult to find SPFs that you can wear underneath makeup. So I'm gonna tell you my favorites for makeup application and then for no makeup makeup days and then for like no makeup at all. So I have a really great list here and I am very excited to share them with you. And let's just begin with this one by Biore. This is their UV SPF 50. PA++++. This SPF has a beautiful texture. It's really light and watery. When you apply it, it is a little bit cooling to your complexion, but it just blends in no white cast at all. It sinks in beautiful, so you can wear makeup with it no problem. It has a little bit of a scent, a little bit of a light SPF scent, but it's not overpowering. I love the fact that this SPF isn't sticky, so once it sinks into the skin, it just looks beautiful. It has hyaluronic acid, and it also has citrus essence to keep the skin hydrated for all day round. So as you saw from the demo, it comes in a squeezy tube. This is very affordable. I get them from YesStyle or Estevlana. Those are K-beauty sites where I like to purchase my SPFs. I know Korean's SPF, they had a big, you know, um, problem with Perito and some other brands, uh, but Biore is standing strong. I love the fact that this is SPF 50, so it's gonna really protect your complexion. I love to wear this when I'm going out for walks, and as I said, it's great for under makeup. Next up, let's talk about Super Goop, and this is the Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 PA++. This is a totally invisible weightless sun less and makeup gripping daily primer it has spf 40 it is meant for all skin types and it helps with fine lines and wrinkles pores and dullness and uneven texture this antioxidant rich spf primer preps skin for makeup while providing broad spectrum spf and protection from blue light the light emitted from our phones and computers the unique oil-free formula glides onto skin providing shine control and leaving a velvety makeup gripping finish 100 clear as you so it is pretty much a gripping primer so if you've used a primer that's the consistency of it it is very velvety on the skin i love it it is truly a primer so if you're makeup wear it and you have oily skin this is going to help you control oils it's going to keep you matte it's not going to have a scent so it is unscented and i love the fact that yeah it just doesn't you know doesn't smell like spf this is great for underneath makeup and i just really really like it when spring and summer approach I'm always reaching for these kind of SPFs because uh, first off it's clear it's not gonna take me 100 years at rubbing it into my face so it's totally clear and again it's just a gripping primer so it makes my complexion very mattified for a while and I love that so this one is one of my go-to's for spring and summer next up we have another super goop SPF and you're gonna find another one in here so I really love the brand uh, for SPFs and this is their low screen SPF 40 PA++. This is a hydrating makeup gripping primer with SPF 40 and blue light protection that has a pearlescent finish to leave skin luminous with an instant glow. It has hyaluronic acid, seal lavender and cocoa peptides. This is your daily glow essential for a fresh faced look with or without makeup providing to be the ultimate morning multitasker. It has a broad spectrum clean chemical SPF actives, hydration and protection. See, this is very glowy on my skin tone. Um, I find it to be a little bit ashy, so I would not wear this by itself if you wear the right amount of SPF that I, I forgot to mention, but you're supposed to do two lines, 
of the SPF or scoop it with you know one of those little spoons but that's just uh, too much but anyways if you applied enough of these to get the protection that you need you're gonna use a ton so I do look ashy I like this as a primer so if I want a luminous finish during spring and summer I reach for this it is really hydrating and very soothing so I love these best on winter time and you know when the weather is cold right now spring and summer I'm not sure unless I want to be very very glowy yeah. this is beautiful nonetheless I reach for these when I want an extra do and this is also a liquid luminizer so you can apply it underneath your makeup then do your face and then dotted at top i have a video um you know demoing this guy and this is one of my holy girls i always reach for these uh, this is my second tube i really really like it i like both the unseen and this one but depending on the time of the year that's how i reach for one or the other one a little bit more. next up we have another one by super Goop. this is the last one i promise this is their daily dose two in one high potency in vitamin c spf 40 serum it visibly brightens the skin and targets the the two main causes of dark spots which are uv and blue light it is meant for normal dry and combination it helps with dark spots fine lines and wrinkles it has 10 percent vitamin c has 2 percent plum extract and 2 percent of niacinamide as you saw from the demo this is very very runny it is truly a serum it feels great on the skin it is a very very nice and hydrating as you saw it gives me a glow i love the fact that you get your vitamin C and your SPF in one. I love my vitamin C during the daytime so this is the perfect daily dose um, you know if you wanted to use it. My problem with this is that it could be a little bit too glowy so I cannot wear these when the weather is humid or warm. It's gonna be a day where I'm super dry winter time. This is one that I recommend for someone with very dry skin I don't I don't think that if you have combination skin you love it like I don't absolutely love it but I do reach for it I love that it has vitamin C I wish more FPS will do something like that um, but yeah this is a beautiful product nonetheless it has niacinamide it has really caring ingredients in here which I appreciate so that's why it's also on my list next up we have one from the drugstore and this is La Roche Posay Antillos 50 plus this is their ultra fluid invisible finish SPF. This is ultra light oil free sunscreen. It delivers a unique invisible protection against sun damage. This high broad spectrum UVV and UVA protection is ultra resistant, protective and safe with its 80 minutes of water and sweat resistant. No eye migration and it is meant for all skin types. It is non-sticky, not greasy and is ultra light and fluid texture leaves no white streaks on the skin. So as you so it looks really beautiful it gives me also a little bit of a glow i love this because it is very like water resistant so i find myself reaching for this one when i am going out for walks you know when i don't want to wear makeup i don't really like this with makeup i feel like it just makes my makeup sit at top it just looks it slips and slide everywhere so this is one that i wear all by self when i'm not wearing any makeup and when i'm outside you know sweating because it is water resistant so i really like this one i like the fact that it's more affordable and i like the consistency as well next up we have one from a sun bomb it's also very affordable and this is one exciting discovery for me it is their mineral spf tintex sunscreen face lotion it is their tinted zinc based mineral sunscreen face lotion which glides on like butter and acts like a primer leaving a matte finish with broad spectrum SPF 30. This is a beautiful. It is very mattifying. I love it as a primer, as a makeup primer. It has a little bit of a tint. So this would be one that I wear all by self with a little bit of concealer and call it the day, but I could also wear it under the makeup. fact that this is more affordable and I love the consistency, very similar to the Unseen by Supergoo, but half the price. This has a velvety texture. It feels like Dimeticone kind of primer and they do claim to be a primer as well. So you could totally wear these 
under your makeup or all by itself. It gives me a little bit of coverage, you know, maybe a little bit because it's tinted. Um, but yeah, I wear it as a primer mainly and when I'm not wearing any makeup. I love the fact that this is very affordable. If you have oily skin, I think you will love it. And I love the fact that this is a mineral skin, um, you know, SPF. So if you're one that only loves to wear minerals, this isn't gonna give you a white cast as you saw and it just looks very, very pretty. I just love this one so, so much. Last but not least, we have a newer discovery for me. This is by the brand Dermatological. I bought this at Sephora and this is a shine reducing SPF moisturizer, which protects the skin from dehydration caused by environmental spray. oil absorbing moisturizer with a matte finish that protects acne prone skin from UV rays and environmental pollutants without clogging the pores. It is meant for normal combination and oily skin types. It has willow bark and green tea extract and it has that pioca to absorb shine. I this is my all-in-one kind of product when I don't want to pile on a ton of you know skincare in the morning. I, I just grab this because it's very nice. I love the fact that it is moisturizing but it's also mattifying so it is perfect for um, underneath makeup. If you have oily skin I think you're really going to enjoy this guy and also if you're acne prone skin this is best. It has uh, green tea extract and some other good things here for your acne prone skin. So this is one that I've been reaching for a ton. It's a little bit pricey just like the super good ones uh, but yeah I think that if you have oily skin you should totally check this guy out. Alrighty friends, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, everything will be linked below for your convenience. Let me know where you go to sunscreens. I would love to know, have you tried any of these ones that I mentioned today? Or if I'm missing on anything, I need to know your thoughts. I need to know your faves. Drop them below. Thanks so much, you guys, for your love and support. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.